Right, we have Mike de Kock for the 29th of Feb, Turfentine. Michael, you got Arabian Red first. First, stayed on last time, coming back in trip a little bit? Yeah, well, obviously after a bit of a rest where she pulled up lame after her last start, so I'd say she's not at her best, but um, I wouldn't be surprised to see her in the money. Then race two, you got a first time at Chifton Shield with Marco on versus Getrix Colt. Yeah, he's well bred, but he's not showing us much. So um, I'm hoping the race will show me more than I'm seeing at home. So uh, it would be a surprise to see this horse win or be in the money, but you never know. Uh, Pedigree may out, but right now, in terms of what we're seeing at home, we're seeing nothing. Then we've got Till Connell. I mean, obviously you've said it before, it's not an easy horse to train. Was hanging a bit last time, Michael, and uh, got going late. Yeah, look, he's glass, this horse, and he's, um, I mean, he's got a lot of ability, but he also has a lot of side shows. Um, I thought Gavin stole, stole the race last time on him. Uh, he got going again late. Uh, he didn't have that kick when he needed to. But it looks like the mile might be the right trip off a good draw at this track. So um, uh, he's a he's definitely a big runner. Then we got in race five, Mary's green light. Well, I mean, uh, she did drop Ryan going to the start. There was a lot of excuses. Um, back down in class. Yeah, she's a, a down in class, but she does uh, lumber a 10-pound penalty for her handicap win. So that And there's a bit of form around that win. So it's going to be very hard uh, you know, to defy that and still and still win, yeah. I mean, she's a nice filly, you know, her last run, she sort of just made sure that there was a good even get, um, tempo in the race, so uh, I wouldn't be too perturbed about that. Uh, off a good draw, given a bit of a chance this time. She's a runner, but as I say, off that £10 penalty, um, it's going to be hard to win again. Then race six, you got three in the race. Let's start off with uh, Dubai Hills, a bit of a surprise, a nice win, surprise last start. Yeah, it was, uh, and he did win very well. I, I think he does like a bit of a sting out of the ground. And the further trip definitely made a difference too. He was well ridden uh, off a bad draw. So he's got a good draw this time, uh, which should suit him a lot more. Um, no place like home actually comes from quite good form lines. I, I prefer his form to Dubai Hills. Uh, but he's off a bad draw. Um, well ridden last time actually to win. Um, and I think he's come on a little bit. Um, Mamba Contesio, I would say a little short, even with a four claimer, a need to run. Also coming back uh, off a lameness and a uh, bit of a layoff. And then race seven, Michael Woodland Glade, uh, lightweight. Um, do you think 1800, first time 1800? Look, in theory, it shouldn't be a problem. And on paper, um, she's uh, recent form is disappointing. Um, it may be that it's just a bit short for her, uh, but uh, this filly needs to up her game. And she's, I mean, she's come down really nicely in the ratings. Um, so you know, I'd be sort of loath to leave her out of anything. But her f there's a reason for that, and that her form hasn't been good there's no I, I can't find any reason for it and if she doesn't run well yeah she's going to want to actually maybe have a bit of a rest but um she's better than this rating okay and then race 10 we've got aravaditia Ar here in a very good race last time i thought and uh you got the claim i claim four on. yeah that should help um he's coming down to a more realistic rating now where he'll be more competitive um off a bad draw again not easy so I'll put it this way, I wouldn't leave him out of anything.